Welcome to Curie Electronics. In this short video, we are going to learn about closed circuit, open circuit, and short circuit. So, first, uh, what is short circuit? Not short circuit, what's open circuit? Usually, in a circuit, we will have one voltage source or current source. So, here I am considering a voltage source and this is DC voltage source it can be AC also then we will have a switch uh, let us consider light itself there is a bulb now if it is uh, this is open circuit that means the switch is open here switch is open and there is no current flow here i equal to zero this is the open circuit let's see what is closed circuit in a closed circuit we will have a voltage source this can be ac or dc i'll ac or dc voltage source then switch is closed here then we have the load a load let's consider bulb bulb is here now now the current flowing through the circuit is i and the the bulb glows now so this is the closed circuit in a closed circuit current flows in an open circuit current doesn't flow now what about an what about a short circuit what is a short circuit short circuit the short circuit happens let's take a, a battery using a wire if we connect See, this terminal is positive terminal, this is negative terminal. If you place a wire like this, this is the short circuit. Now what happens? The, in, in the current, at the short circuit, what happens? Current is large amount of current flows through a short circuit and voltage is zero. If you measure using a multimeter, if you measure this, the voltage across the cell, after short circuiting the positive and negative negative terminal of the battery it is going to be zero but a large amount of current flow happens it, it could be a voltage ac source also that means we have a if you take a normal or house wiring then we have phase and neutral across the phase and neutral if you connect a, a wire then what happens? This will act as a short circuit. Short circuit. And when it happens in a, usually at our home, our miniature circuit breaker trips to protect excess to protect from all large current flow. Now let's see some properties of this short circuit. What are the some properties of this short circuit? That is uh, we have open circuit, open circuit and short circuit we will consider. Open circuit and short circuit. This is open circuit. Then what is next? We have short circuit. Let's take some uh, two or three parameters to compare it. The first parameter, what, what happens to the current? Now open circuit switch is open. So what is the current? It is zero. Current is zero. What are in short circuit? In ideally, we say it's infinite in a short circuit. Infinite. What about voltage? In an open circuit, voltage is maximum because we are not connecting any load to the any load to the source. So across source, we will get maximum value. In a short circuit, voltage is 
zero. Also, what about resistance? Resistance. The resistance is ma maximum that we can say infinite for an open circuit, and for short circuit resistance is zero. That is why there will be infinite amount of current flow or large current flow and uh, heat is produced the shoots and short in the short circuit what happens when the short circuit happen short circuit produces heat produces heat if heat is there then there is always a chance of fire there's always a chance of fire uh, can you sell can you say one example for where we use this short circuit that is arc welding to join the metals we make use of this short circuits so arc weld arc welding and the source the current source can provide a large amount of current and for arc welding we make use of this short circuit short circuit short circuit so this is the basic idea to understand what is a, a short circuit now let's let me draw one more diagram with that we'll finish it up see we have a, a voltage it's a voltage divider circuit what i am drawing then we have a voltage source let's assume that we have given here 10 volt and this is one kilo ohm resistor one kilo ohm resistor then what happens here voltage what is the voltage is going to be across this here one kilo ohm this resistor it is going to be 5 volt now what happens if we place a short circuit here somehow one short circuit short circuit happens then what is going to be this voltage is going to be 0 volt and a large amount of current flows now that this current is limited by large amount of current can't flow in the circuit it's a practical uh, uh, problem with the circuit practical practically failed circuit okay now there are some short happened but in this circuit the current will be limited by this one kilo ohm resistor this one kilo ohm resistor decide what is the maximum current that can flow but there it is not going to be a short circuit but it is a kind of short happened on the circuit component i hope now you understood what is basically short circuit open circuit and closed circuit thanks for watching if you like the video please share with your friends and don't forget to press the like button